Hi, my name is Joe Rankin. I'm part of Team Zenith. My topic today is conflict management. Some advantages of conflict management is conflict can help members understand an issue more clearly. Many times the group work through problems by open discussion through message boards and instant messaging services. We use things like our Blackboard discussion board and an instant messaging service that we found on Google Slides. If another advantage is conflict can improve group decisions. Group decisions were more easily improved when the group followed their assigned roles that were laid out in the group contract early in the, the class. Conflict can increase cohesiveness. Many, many, many times during a long project and after, the team would draw closer together because they had, because of what they faced. They had a common bond. Conflict helped to define group goals for consensus decision making. Consensus is defined as a decision is one that all members agree is the best one they can make that is acceptable law. It doesn't mean that the final choice is anyone's first choice, according to Katherine Adams. Consensus helped us decide in everything, such as a format for, for the presentations and to the creation of our locale app. Some disadvantages of conflict management is a time loss from not establishing a clear conflict management system. Another one is situational conflict management that tries to apply cookie cutter solutions to unique problems instead of having an adaptable conflict management system. We have many different assignments, uh, wiki logs and group presentations, and not every style of conflict management seemed to work. There wasn't a cookie cutter solution. We had to work through the problems together and be adaptable to other, others' differences. Types of conflict, there's task conflict. It's conflict resulting from disagreements over ideas, information, reasoning, or evidence. The team dealt with this when trying to clearly understand the class assignment instructions. Each member had different interpretations of, of what the assignment instructions were. Many times we had to refer back to the rubric to see if we could figure it out together. Then there's relational conflict, conflict resulting from personality clashes, likes, dislikes, and competition for power. While this was a factor, the group was fortunate not to encounter this. And then there's process conflict, conflict over how to do something and members' contributions to the group. The team dealt with this many times when trying to di trying different formats or software for presentations. Different me me methods of conflict management is avoidance. It's a conflict style describing a person's unwillingness to confront or engage in conflict. Accommodation, which is conflict style describing a person's willingness to engage in conflict. However, he backs away from the conflict by giving in to appease the other party. Competition is conflict style, showing a preference for coming out ahead in the conflict at the expense of the other party. And collaboration, conflict style, showing a preference for working with the other to find a solution that pleases both parties. And then there's compromise, conflict style, showing a preference for giving a little and gaining a little to manage the issue. ...was collaboration. It seemed to work best, and the group consistently worked towards a win-win scenario where everybody had something that they took away from the group assignment. The best conflict method, according to Lita Russell, one of her three techniques is setting up a base camp for additional communication, task delegation, and document sharing for specific segments of the project. One implemented this one step to replace emails created hugely from productivity and organization. For us, this was a valuable tool that wasn't fully realized or used until late in the seminar when the students started using instant messaging service embedded in Google Slides software. Hi, my name is Joe Rankin. I'm with Team Zenith. My topic was conflict management, some of the issues that we went through the last six weeks. Um, what we found worked the best for us was collaboration and the instant messaging service. Uh, Fortunately, we, were, we had enough people on our team that were looking out for each other. We were working towards a common goal. We didn't want to see each other fail. There wasn't a lot of animosity or there wasn't a lot of competition for roles or positions in the group. We just wanted to get to the finish line and learn the assignment, learn, learn the software, and figure it out. It wasn't until about week three or so when Sean or Dante, I think it was Sean, brought up using the instant messages service. He, he, we were using Google Slides and we were so fortunate because he chimed in and it was just a lightning bolt for us because up until then we were using the discussion boards and limping along and waiting for group votes and people getting done with work and daycare and and commitments and it was hard to do our assignments and as far as group conflict that was the biggest thing that held us back was communication. Once we had that solved we really really were more successful in our last couple of assignments. Thank you. Now here's Lamis Kabani with our next topic. My name is Lamis and I will be doing topic number four, 
technology and communication. There are many advantages for technology. Number one, it's produce more open, fluid, and dynamic small group environment. It insists access it, it provides instant access to information that can supplement learning experience. Life skills can be gained through technology. Ideas and solutions can be generated rapidly. Communicative technology reduces public speaking problems and it can give more time for thinking and collaborating. Also, there is many disadvantages for using technology. It can be at some times dis um, disturbing or cause distraction. It's possible disconnect of social interaction. Technology can foster more cheating, different experience levels with technology used. Technologies can be costly, both in terms of time and money, and users who are unfamiliar with the technology and communication educate can become frustrated and discouraged. There are many communication methods available. There's a discussion board, chat rooms, emails, and other type of technology. What did we use as a team uh, for communication? Blackboard was used through discussion board and wiki. Instant messaging was used when we used Google Slides, and emails were basically between the students and the instructor for any clarifications. We also used many technology softwares and programming to accomplish our projects. We used Microsoft Words, Wiki, PowerPoint, Google Slides, Photo Booth and Camera, and YouTube. The best communication method that we used as a team, um, we were very comfortable using the instant messaging um, feature on the Google slide, even though we did not use it that many times. Uh, discussion board was used the most, even though it was so time consuming. Technology diagnose. Uh, we used many technology, as mentioned before, uh, to finish our projects. Some of them work just fine for our group while we encountered some problems using others. Uh, Microsoft Word uh, was fine along with Wiki um, and of course the photo booth and the camera. On the other hand, our team encountered uh, some issues and problems. Um, uploading and embedding the videos and audios to our Google slide or PowerPoint or even uploading a YouTube uh, on the presentation on a YouTube that uh, in a format that we can all review and um, submit. Um, this is all for technology and communication and now we're going to move on to the next topic about professional behavior by Jessica.
As a team member in Team Zenith, I went through a lot of roles in the past six weeks. In Seminar 2, I was the leader for Team Zenith and the challenger for Seminar 1, 5, and 6, the summarizer for Seminar 4, and, la and, and the researcher for Seminar 3. Uh, when developing the locale app, I was in charge of the accounting segment. Uh, moving on from one role to another helped me a lot and I gained a lot of experience.